Navigating hospital during COVID-19 for people with hearing loss. As hospitals accommodate the increasing number of patients with COVID-19, people who are hard of hearing or deaf are faced with critical challenges in properly communicating with doctors and nurses amid protective masks and physical distancing guidelines. This video will address these and other concerns related to this. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss an update. One of these concerns is the increased restrictions on visitors, making it likely that people who are hard of hearing or deaf will be on their own while at the hospital. Making matters more severe, nurses and doctors will also be wearing masks, eliminating visual cues. Clear masks do not protect healthcare workers against COVID-19 since they are not comparable to N95 masks. The environment in the hospital will most likely be noisy and overwhelmed by the sound of the medical equipment and the surplus of patients. However, those who are deaf or hard of hearing should still feel free to request a different nurse or ask to see the accessibility coordinator by speaking to the nurse in charge. If care has been rationed or denied altogether, the patient should request to see a supervisor. A lot of the misconception is that when you go to a hospital for COVID-19, the misconception being, you're going into a normal hospital setting and that the hospitals will have all the normal equipment and accommodations to provide you with the communication tools that you need. We don't think this is the right assumption, you are going to be entering a medical disaster scene at some hospitals. Despite the challenges that hard of hearing or deaf patients will face during COVID-19, a positive effect of the pandemic is the broadening of care with the use of telemedicine. Those who could not be reached prior can now have the opportunity to make appointments with doctors across the country. If you are someone who is hard of hearing or deaf, we suggest doing the following. Talk to your primary doctor. If you need to go to the emergency department, call your primary doctor first so they may help facilitate the process and also give the emergency department notice of your needs. They may also be able to solve any issues you may have through a telehealth appointment if it isn't an issue needing immediate attention. Prepare with your family. Develop a communication strategy with friends and family before going to the hospital. Coordinate who will be the point of contact while you are at the hospital. Create a hospital kit. When preparing to go to the hospital, create your own hospital kit with signage to hang above your hospital bed so others can be made aware of your disability. Use smartphone apps. Practice using speech-to-text apps, such as Live Transcribe, Otter and Aver at home before going to the hospital. Apps such as InnoCaption and Hamilton CapTel are useful for creating captions for telephone or video calls. Make sure to write down login information if an app requires a password. Keep a record. Bring a complete list of medications, medical history, contact numbers to the hospital. A smartphone, chargers, hearing equipment and headbands should also be brought to the hospital with you. Low-tech solutions. A pad of paper and a pen or a boogie board is also used as communication tools. Bring these to the hospital as a backup tool to your smartphone or hearing device. It's also important to sanitize any tools that you are bringing with you to the hospital. Prepare for rounds. Learn what time rounds occur during the daily routine of the hospital so your advocate can phone in. This is so they can assist with coordinating your care while in the hospital and after. Thank you. We hope that this video will help you navigate the hospital with the utmost ease. Did this video help you? Are we missing something in this video? Do let us know in the comments below. Are you ready to rediscover hearing? Take a free hearing test. Request a free hearing assessment at anvihearing.com or get in touch with us by calling us on 901-925-6256.